Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Box Mining. My name is Ron. I'm an analyst at Box Mining and we're back with another airdrop video. So if you've been following us on the Box Mining Plus channel and if, especially if you've been following me on Twitter since Chinese New Year, we've shared this airdrop play. It's called Nibiru and there are basically two airdrops for Nibiru. So there is the X airdrop, which is just engaging on Twitter and doing their Gleam task. I'm sure it's you've done most of them already. Super easy, right? Then there's also the incentivized testnet airdrop, which uh, the snapshot was already done last year. Uh, in fact, it was it ended in October 2023. So both of these airdrops, in order to claim them, you will need to complete KYC verification, and this includes taking a picture of your face. So if you don't do this by March 21st, then you're going to miss out on these free money. Okay. And both of the, both of the incentivized test net and the Twitter X airdrop are the same method. So it, I will show you a very quick guide on how to complete these KYC verification. And in fact, I'm sure that most of you wouldn't even need to complete it except for the second role, which we'll talk about later, because in order to, for me, when I started the, the Nibiru X airdrop, I, I remember that I had to do a facial scan. I was like, what the, what the heck? Right. But yes, it, it did. It showed that I was already verified. I didn't have to do anything extra, but in case if you are still confused or if you haven't done it yet, I'll show you. Okay. So. Uh, let's see the reference here first. Okay. So you will need at least 50 uh, Twitter followers by the end of the campaign. Civil attacks not allowed. If you're from any of these countries, you are also not eligible. And if your Twitter account was banned during the campaign, and if you farm Nibby points, ensure that you've linked your new Twitter handle to the same Nibby wallet, okay? And if you're using multiple devices or accounts on the same network, and especially from the same IP, they can trace this and you will probably be disqualified. So two things to claim the airdrop. You need two roles on Discord, likely human role and seemingly human role. All right, so we'll put Discord up here. What's up, guys? Uh, Doom Boy says it's all his error on me. W which part? I will show you. Amorg says KYC facial scan. This airdrop is dead on arrival. Actually, a lot of big projects are doing KYC verification to prevent Sybil, uh, to prevent Sybil farmers. Of course, it's not ideal, but that is the next best solution that they can think of. And honestly, it's been proven pretty effective. Uh, the last one that I remembered was Zeta Chain. Zeta Chain, you had to provide ID to claim the airdrop. But hey, it was a very big airdrop for me, so I liked it. Okay, now the first role you're gonna want to get is likely human role. This part should be done already if you've done the same steps as me. But in case you want to check, you go to the top left uh, area here. This is Nibiru Chain. Go to linked roles, okay, and it should have a blue tick here. If you have a blue tick here then you want to confirm that you do have the likely human role. So you can just go to the GM channel, check, right? Just say GM, hover on to your name, and you should have the likely human role here. And then you should be able to see the Pepe icon right next to your name. So it, I have the rock because that's the next role that you're going to want to get. Now the next one, yes, the rock, which is the, uh, what's it called again? The seemingly human role. <laughs> Why is the rock seemingly human? I don't get it. Um, that one, you go here, channel and roles. Okay. And you need to complete this one. How many toes am I holding up? The answer, the correct answer is three. So once you're done with that, then you should have the seemingly human role, right? If you want to, uh, most of the people just go yes, yes, and Nibiru for the rest of the questions, but uh, th number three, because this is a new question that they've added as part of the airdrop claim. Okay. Don't, don't go here. Don't go to verify humanity because the team is just trolling you. They're just checking to see if there's uh, bots that would auto respond 
by emoting or sorry by uh, responding with emojis to messages so if you are a bot seriously don't react to this message okay so just follow to those steps and from the perspective of if you haven't uh, completed the likely human role uh, so the, which is the first one right so if you don't have the blue tick they have a video guide about that and I'll show you exactly what it will look like we'll go through it together okay so it'll, there's no blue tick here you click on that you go to human node human node this is the one that we had to go through when we did in Chinese New Year right it'll redirect you to a, uh, a human node website that has the discord API you go in here and then you have you, you should authorize camera access and then you take the picture here so i think he's one of the co-founders of nibiru right scan wait for it and then it'll need to request access to your discord so uh, accept it and then once you see this message connected right you see connected and you see why can't i full uh, zoom in all right, it's best that you have liveness active gen 3. How you check that on your Discord is you go back here and just click on your name. So I'll just take a GM and display. What's up, fam? Uh, where did it go? I remember there's a way to check that. Kind of unrolls. Oh, I think it's on the right side. Ah, that's going to be long. But yeah, just follow those, then you'll be able to get it. Doomboy says the anti-civil intention is good, but increased complexity is really annoying. That's the whole point. <laughs> that's the whole point. Un you, unless you have a really advanced AI bot that can bypass these, which, by the way, will take a very long time and a lot of money to create, uh, then so far it's very effective. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, just remember, okay, do this before uh, March 31st. After that, you'll be able to claim, I think on the same day after the verification deadline is over. You will have until June 1st to claim. June 1st will be the last day to claim the Nibiru airdrops. And the place, the site that you're going to be claiming at is on Nibiru's web app. So uh, the link's in the description. You just go to claims here and you connect your wallet. And if you have participated in the uh, pre-sale, the community pre-sale, there's a contract address here available for you to claim whichever wallet that you've used to participate in the uh, community pre-sale. And when you're here, make sure that you're on mainnet, by the way, not on testnet. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about um, our expectation for Nibiru. So, so far, the launch is very strong. It's pretty much 2x already after the listing price on exchanges. Uh, right now, interestingly enough, it's only on centralized exchanges. There's no LP pool yet for Nibi token. So, you can't really use it on DeFi yet. Even though that Nibiru already has uh, quite a number of dApps uh, that are ready to launch. So in their recent Twitter thread, they've shared 27 projects that are, that are either live right now or about to go live. So we'll go through these one by one. Uh, but in the time being, my expectation for Nibiru is that, yes, it does look like a strong launch. And in our altcoin portfolio, we added that to the Box Mining Plus portfolio. And when I mean Box Mining Plus portfolio, the team portfolio, I mean Michael's wallet portfolio. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we showed you that this morning in the in the Box Mining Plus stream. We bought it. We uh, Our average entry was around 71, so we're still up. Now, before you spot buy this though, you have to make you you need to be aware that um Need to be aware of their tokenomics. So this 60% is to community and this includes airdrop, which is good. However, remember that our airdrop is 
is uh it's only 50% unlocked at TGE. So let me double check. TGE 50%. Yes. 50% unlock at claim. And that's 50 15 million tokens allocated to us. And there are around 500,000 participants. Let me check. So 500,000 participants on average, that would be, that'd be around 30 Nibi tokens. So around $30, which is okay. Uh, and then we'll get to talk about what can we do with Nibi tokens after we get the airdrop. Uh, interestingly enough, look at this. Look at this, look at this. No, where, where did it go? Right, in case if you're confused, that means you just get 15 Nibi tokens, on average, right? Uh, on the claim day, and then you the, the rest of the two months, you will get the rest of them, right? That's what the vesting schedule means. For the incentivized test net, the allocation is actually smaller, but the qualified participants is much smaller as well. So look at this. So half of that is allocated to the incentivized testnet airdrop. So you would think, oh, it's very diluted. Reward pool is very small. But no, because very like, look at this. Check this, check this. Look, 4 million wallet addresses broadcasting transactions. So you'd think 4 million people got the airdrops, but they were doing anti-Sybil uh, anti defenses, and they filtered out the Sybils, and there were only 44,289 unique Nibi wallets. So if you divide that, divided by 44289, that's uh, nearly 117 Nibi tokens just for doing testnet tasks. So in order to be a part of this, you need to do most of these quests. That's why you shouldn't, you, you don't want to fade on incentivized test nets, right? And I'm glad that I did not fade on Zeta Chain, and I'm hoping that Venom test net will be good. Kim Bonang says, check Polyhedra. Yes, the snapshots already taken yesterday. Uh, if you've completed that as well, you should qualify for the airdrop. And that also includes galaxy points. That's what I heard. That's why you don't also fade on galaxy quests. Okay? So, yeah. This is good. If you if you qualified for both of these, that's 190 Nibi tokens. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to sell it here? So, look at the dumping pressure. So, the linear... The, the vesting schedule for a lot of the investors and a lot of the core contributors of Nibi, Nibiru is pretty... It's, there's not going to be a, a day where it's a huge unlock, like for Arbitrum, right? Or, or for Celestia. Celestia in October, by the way, there's going to be a huge unlock. So expect a very big dumping pressure for Tia. Uh, yeah, just plan your exit strategy accordingly. But the next unlock date that you have to be aware of is, is next month. So April 12, 2024, 12 million Nibi tokens are going to be unlocked. So that's roughly $10 million of dump pressure. So that's public sale, coin list, investors post seed. Usually the categories that you want to uh, watch out for that are likely to dump a lot would be seed investors. And that they're not going to come in until December 12, 2024 at the end of the year. And why seed investors? Because mostly because they got the Nibi tokens at the lowest price. Post seed is a little bit higher. There's still dumping pressure there. But out of all of the categories here, seed investors pose the, the biggest threat to dumping pressure. But it's, it's a linear vesting monthly. So it's every month until 2027. Yep, December 12, 2027 would be the last day. So you can either just take profit if you want. I'm not giving you any financial advice. For me, however, 
uh, I'll be using my Nibi tokens to stake them. So on the same page on app.nibiru.fi slash stake, links also in the description, you can delegate your Nibi tokens to any of these validators. Just don't pick the centralized exchange. So we see some very familiar names here. We see Cosmo Station, Pokachu, Stakesito, my boy, Stakesito, right? And after the mainnet launch, uh, Lavender 5 was one of the first to, to market about their um, validator nodes on Nibiru. And right now they're ranked 2. And yeah, they, they are ranked 2. So for me, my strategy would be 50-50, right? So 50% of my delegation will be for one of the top 20. And it's most likely going to be Stake Zero. Then the other 50, I'll give it to someone here below the top 20 so a familiar name would be enigma enigma who else yeah so far only 43 validators so i think nibiru to be honest i don't think they're really building anything uh that stands out a lot they certainly have a vision but they are strong, especially if you see these kind of launch. It's because they have very huge backers. And I think Kraken invested in them. And I'm, yeah. Wait, Nibiru dot buy. Let's see. Yeah, Kraken Ventures, Hashkey. If Hashkey invested, you could tell this is an Asian team. <laughs> You could tell this is an Asian team. Uh, coin list, yep. NGC Ventures, Altcoin Buzz. Damn. Their capital. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of these are seed investors. That's what I'm assuming. Um, what else? What else? What else? Right now, if you want to add uh, Nibiru to your uh, Kepler wallet, just go to chains.kepler.app, type Nibiru, and add Nibiru to your Kepler wallet. Then you'll be able to interact with the staking interface. And make sure that you're on the main net, okay? Not the test net. Uh, yeah. What else? What else? What else? Uh, currently, though, because it's only been how many hours? It's still less than 24 hours. I don't see Nibiru on Minscan yet. So Minscan is a block explorer for all of the IBC-enabled chains. And right now, there's no uh, info on Nibiru. I think maybe a day or two, we'll be able to see information and then get a gauge of the activity for Nibiru because what I'm interested in that is not just TVL, but also validator activities, right? Uh, as you can see here in the past, these are the ones, you know, the obvious ones, obviously. Cosmos, Osmo, uh, Akash is also rising. Axelar definitely rising. Celestia, don't forget my boy Celestia. I think I need to get some exposure to Kronos. I don't have any exposure to Kronos. DYDX as well. But yeah, it's not just Minscan. There's other block explorers that you can use to uh, explore IBC-enabled chains, the activities. So there's also ping.hub. Usually private test nets or... Um, uh, yeah, before test nets are launched and then you, they select private participants, they use ping.pub. Uh, ping Minscan is the public one. Map of Zones is also great, but it doesn't really give you um, in-depth information. It gives you a great framework of how these IBC chains are connected to each other. So yeah, check checks out too if you don't know about that. So it's pretty cool. Big Dipper and Nblock are not as in-depth as Minscan. I always use Minscan. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope you guys claim that airdrop pass and... What else? I, I'd say the largest allocation, though, is definitely the, the pre-sale. It's the pre-sale. You know, if they hadn't uh, allocated that much, let me see, to the pre-sale, airdrops would have been huge, like a lot more bigger. A lot bigger. Sale. 15 million? No, not this one. 
Yeah, this one, look at this, 120 million. And it took place February 1, and it was sold out in under 15 minutes. So that's crazy. But it's 10% unlocked at launch. 12-month linear vesting. So it'll ups offset the dump pressure a little bit. Not Because if it's 100% unlocked, then that's going to be scary. It's going to be a dump race, right? Okay. So guys, smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel. And check out Bing X if you don't have an account. It's great. There's a lot of new tokens that you don't find on the larger exchange listed here on Bing X. For example, a lot of you guys are doing the Metis airdrop and you're asking me, oh, I need Metis for gas. Uh, can you give me some? You can actually just get as little as 5 USDT here on Metis. Or, or sorry, on Bing X. Just type Metis. Yeah, they're one of the few centralized exchanges that uh, list Metis. So check out Bing X. Referral links down in the description if you need. And that's it for today. My name is Ron.